Okay, so welcome back to the channel. For this video, I just wanted to make a quick video on some of the tooling that I have. Um, this is the quarter inch tubing, which is super tiny little tubes. They're a quarter inch inner diameter. Um, so with this tooling here, uh, you can make little tiny rockets, perfect for like backyards, you know, places that you don't want to make a lot of noise. This is a new kit that I just got, which is the 5 16th bottle rocket kit from Pyro Creations. Uh, it comes with a box of 25 tubes. They're these New England paper tubes, very, very good quality tubes. Uh, as you can see here, I just pressed the rocket not too long ago. Um, those are just the increment marks as far as the clay goes. Makes a very nice nozzle, as you can tell very circular and it's perfect for a uh, good thrust on the uh, rocket as you can tell it comes with a um, core tool that one has a tiny little core on it and then you move up to the bigger rocket which is a half inch which you can tell it's much larger the uh this is the half inch tube. I didn't press the rocket yet, but this is pretty much what it's gonna look like for the, um, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mess right there. It's pretty much what it's gonna look like for when it's done. This one's completed. I just went ahead and ordered some of these nose and uh, fin kits off of Pyro Creations as well. But you can tell there, it's a very good diameter there for the nozzle. This one provides pretty good thrust. And as, obviously with these rockets, you can actually fill them up as much as you want, <clears throat> whether or not you're gonna use a payload or not. So if you want to, you can fill it all the way up to the top and put a clay plug in there and get a little bit more height. Whereas some bottle rockets that you can buy commercially, those, they don't fill them up all the way. And that's why they only go up to about hundred feet. This, these rockets here, I can easily hit 300 feet even more. I don't know, I haven't used my drone to go up in the air to see how high they're going. Um, I actually have one more kit that is much bigger than that, and that is the 5 8 kit, which is an even bigger rocket, which is a lot bigger than this one. And that one I use when I'm in an empty field because those rockets produce a lot more thrust, a lot more power, and I don't want to, you know, crash it into anybody's house or anything like that. Um, the reason why I went with these smaller kits was because in my backyard, if I launch one of these, this won't really do much damage. I mean, it'll fly up in the air and pretty much come back down, that's it. I don't have any report or anything in here. These are just black powder rockets, that's it. Um, the black powder I make here at home. I have a ball mill that I showed in my previous videos and pretty much I just granulate it with a uh, eight mesh screen. And you can tell those little black granules in there. Very nice for keeping the dust down so that way I don't have a whole bunch of dust when I'm pressing rockets. I've been using my Arbor Press that I modified. I actually bought this from Harbor Freight and I made a little wood contrapment, you know, to hold it. And I use this as a, an adapter to press for these smaller rockets because I obviously can't fit these rockets up on the top here. It's not gonna go high enough or actually it won't fit under the Arbor Press. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick video I wanted to show on these little tiny rockets that I'm making now. Um, these, as you can tell for comparison, because I almost forgot, that's a quarter inch, this is a 5 16th, and that is the half inch. I'll go ahead and flip them over this way so you can get a better idea. Just in case any of you guys are interested in buying rockets, tooling rather, sorry, buying tool, tools to make rockets. So you can see there, that's the half inch. This one right here is the 5 sixteenths, and this little baby one right here is a quarter inch. I mean, you know, if you like the Moon Travelers, these little tiny ones are fun to make. They're obviously way bigger than the Moon Traveler, but you get the idea. You can make them a little bit bigger than Moon Traveler, and they're very fun to mess with. I was going to see if I can get in there so you can see the grain, but it's a little bit hard to see. And my camera's not wanting to focus, but as you can tell... The inner diameters get bigger and bigger as the tooling goes up. Um, later on, I'll do a demo video if I get a chance. But this was just a quick video on the tools that I have for right now on making rockets. Uh, thank you for watching.